So I, uh, I kind of did a thing recently. If it doesn't look impressive right now, maybe this will help. Yeah. So I probably owe you a little bit of backstory on all this. So for the last few months, I've kind of been courting a major deal that I've been keeping more or less under wraps, but I finally got to follow through with it here in the last few weeks. Now, some of you may have seen recently, I flew down to New Orleans to go film a video with James Reeves of TFP TV. And that's not entirely just because I love James. I can't believe, are you putting me on your fucking bullshit channel? No. This garbage. No, it's all right, it won't make it to the internet. I was also there as kind of a way of killing time and killing two birds with one stone before I followed through with a major deal that was more or less somewhere in the area. Long story short, an acquaintance reached out to me a few months ago and asked if I was interested in buying some shipping containers full of some AR-15 parts, a shitload of AK parts, and lots of really good tooling to build them. I know it was probably biting off a lot more than I can chew, but <laughs> when do I not? So when I was done in New Orleans, I rented a truck, hit the road. We got all the stuff loaded up and I made the 18 hour drive back to Fayetteville, North Carolina in one go because I was not stopping at a hotel with all of that in the back of a truck. Finally back in North Carolina, we are in the home stretch of this drive, which is good because I really, really need to sleep. By the time I was borderline hallucinating, I was back in Fayetteville, North Carolina and it was time to offload the haul. And my God, is this a lot of stuff. So remember I was talking about in some videos recently that I was about to do some Lord of War shit? Well, uh, this is what I was talking about. And if you ask me, I think this kind of qualifies. The TLDR version is, I bought a gun factory. If that sounds like a little bit of a bigger deal than I was ready for right now in my, my professional career, you're probably right. But for me, this was kind of the obvious move. This was the obvious next step for where the company needed to go in 2020. One of our biggest problems in 2019 was not being able to keep up with production, not being able to uh, grow fast enough to meet the demand. The channel exploded and I'm so thankful to all of you, so fucking thankful for all you guys for making that happen. But on the company end of things, we kind of needed to scale one to one and that wasn't happening. We didn't have the tooling, we didn't have the parts, we didn't have the supplies, we didn't have the employees, we didn't have what we needed to do to keep up with the massive growth and the massive demand. And we kind of suffered as a company for it. I'm fixing all that shit in 2020 because I don't want to see this fall behind. We're hitting 2020 harder than anything ever before. This is the biggest step in the company by far. It's keeping me up at night. It's a lot of stress, but this is what we obviously needed to do uh, as far as uh, at least what I think. So I'm super excited for what this is going to turn into. And uh, when you guys need access pins or anything like that, uh, I'm probably going to have a couple for sale sometime soon. Let me find that access pin. I gotta run away. But this is one of the first major steps and some big plans that I have for 2020 as far as starting up massive retail on the akguy.com. I want to be able to do a lot of sales of parts. I want to become one of the go-to places for AK parts. That is one of my number one goals for 2020. The other one is I want to increase production. I want to be able to keep up with you guys' demand the demand for AKs across the country and really just kind of help diversify the platform with keeping up with what you guys want. And I also want to be hitting dealer shelves for the first time in 2020. That is one of my big goals. I've just got a lot of stuff I want to do. And the, uh, the, the people who've been rallied around me recently and the people that I've brought in and the people who've shown their support are what's making that happen. This is making that happen. We're putting the right seeds in place right now so that we can turn 2020 into really kind of a big year. I want this to be the year of the AK. Now we really kind of skimmed over exactly what the hell happened with all this stuff uh, very quickly. This is just kind of get the video out as fast as possible. I just got home a couple days ago in time for Christmas. Uh, we're actually filming this on Christmas Day because we're maniacs. Merry Christmas from the past, by the way. One of the other big things that I knew we had to do in 2020, or at least I wanted to do and I felt like we needed to do, is uh, we are opening up a second channel. We're gonna be uploading daily foot pics of your favorite YouTubers. No, we're, we, we're opening up a second channel because there was a lot of the stuff that I thought was kind of cool early on that I, I like to do videos of, like kind of more the gun life vlog, quote unquote style videos. It, it's a good vlog, not a vlog. But a lot of stuff that really just doesn't fit the main channel anymore. And there's a lot of stuff that I kind of like, 
it's not stuff that really flows with the, the way the channel's gone. I, I think it's perfectly fine as far as the way the channel's kind of exploded with gun meme review and curse gun images and the AR guys versus AK guys series. I think it's awesome. I am very, very proud of where the channel is right now. Okay, proud's maybe not the right word. You guys are a little funky. But there's a lot of videos that I know I want to put out as far as the behind the scenes on everything. If you want to see a little bit more of my personality, my, my actual personality, and a little less of the, you know, AK guy character personality, uh, and a lot of the, the things I think are important as far as the behind the scenes in the gun industry, and if you're interested in getting into this sort of stuff, kind of that more um, industry feel and what actually goes on and certain things like that, and maybe just a little bit more personal stuff. I really don't know, but I do know there's a lot of content that I want to be making for you guys that just doesn't fit. There's a lot of video ideas we flat out shoot down because they don't belong on the main channel. And so that's kind of why we're doing a second one. I don't care if it's a thousand subscribers. I don't care if it's three million. Okay, three million would be nice. But the point is I just kind of want to have the content out there and available for people it might be relevant to. And if you're one of those people and you're interested in that sort of thing, I would love to have you go over and check out the second channel. Uh, we're planning on starting to upload with that early in January of the new year, basically starting right in 2020 and just kind of rolling out and seeing what kind of content you guys like there, what kind of content uh, we, we're gonna put up, we don't really know yet. But I'm, I'm excited for it. I think it's a good opportunity to branch out from the stuff that we're not putting on the main channel. Because let's face it, this shit's the golden goose. So that's my big plug for the second channel. Uh, it's probably not the last one, but it's definitely the first. So uh, if you're gonna check out the pinned comment there, and if you want to learn the behind the scenes, the story on all this stuff, one of the first videos we do there is I kind of want to explain what happened with this deal in greater detail, what exactly we have, and some of the stuff that we're planning on rolling out in 2020, because make no mistake, and I think you guys see I'm fairly serious about it by now, this is a big fucking deal. So go ahead and check that out, it's in the description in the pinned comment, and yeah, I can't wait to see you guys over there. I'm excited for some of the weird hijinks we're gonna get into. Hopefully not too weird. Expectations are low. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for following along. Thank you so much for just a fucking amazing 2019. I really couldn't have asked for anything. I, I never in my wildest imagination would I have thought we'd grown this big and that I'd be sitting on a pile of shit this big in the shop at the end of 2019. It all happened very suddenly. So, and, and, and a lot of this stuff, I just, I, I, I have only you guys to thank. So thank you guys so much. I'm gonna go spend the rest of my Christmas day Sorting through under folder rear trunnions. I think I only have about 1,200 of them, so it should take no time at all. But that's all for today, and I will see you sexy YouTube mother lovers in the next video and the next channel. So, thank you guys. Now, some of you may have seen that I got to fly down to New Orleans to go hang out and film a video with James Reeves. And that's not entirely just because I love James. I laugh, James. Jesus. I love James. I love James. <laughs>